Welcome back everyone. In this episode, I'm going to show you this device that I built. It's for my CNC. And what it does is it replaces your bit temporarily. It's a little laser. And what it does is it travels around the work surface that you have here, the stock that you put down on your table, make sure that the bit is not gonna hit any of the clamps. Now I'm working on a really cool large house number sign in my next project right here. And I have to put the clamps in awkward positions just to make sure this is held down properly. So I'm going to use the laser to travel around the outline of it to make sure that all of the clamps are out of the way. So if you're interested in one of these, just go to the link in the description. I've got the free STL file there and the parts that I used, it cost me less than $15 Canadian. So it's pretty cheap and um, I think it's going to be a useful little device. So let's go check it out. Here's the setup for cutting down the wires on the laser module as well as the battery holder. So let's just see how long we need these leads. So what I'm gonna do is just plunk this in here, push that into there. And you can see on camera here that you only need the leads to be about that long or so. So what I'm going to do is just trim them. I'm just going to cut them all at the same time, just like that. And then we have our proper lengths. We don't need all of this extra wire. So I'm going to pop that out. There we go. I'm going to just cut off, a, trim a little bit off the leads here. So we just need a millimeter or so. Do that on both of them. I have the battery in this already, but I have it switch on the off setting right there. And what I'm going to do next is just add a little bit of solder to the ends of these to get them ready. Next thing you want to do is you want to put on a little bit of heat shrink tubing. There we go. Now we have a shortened length for both of them. Use my trusty blowtorch. It's up a bit. And there we go. So now we have heat shrink tubing on them. Let's just test, test this out, make sure this is working. Turn the switch on. You can see my laser is on and off. All right, so that's how you just shorten the length and let's move on to assembling this together. Let's assemble this laser guide. What you're going to need is the file printed off and a quarter inch bolt. This is about an inch and a quarter long. You can use a little bit longer one if you want. This is the part that's going to go into the spindle or the router and then obviously your laser and your battery holder. Now inside of here, I've uh, modeled in the hexagonal shape here, but it only fits a certain way. So you got to kind of look down into here and line it up with the edges of here so that when it goes in, there we go. So now I know that if I pull this or tighten it, it's going to sink into that little cavity. So I'm going to just do that now and tighten it up. And right now you can probably see the head right there sticking out. But as I turn this, it will recess in to the cavity and it won't turn anymore. And you'll know because you won't be able to spin this around inside of there. So there. So now it's sunk right into that little hole. So that's how you put that in. 
It's a little finicky, but I'm sure you'll get it. Then you just push this all the way in, put in your battery holder. It can go either way. You could have the switch on the bottom part, which is kind of what I prefer. And you could put a dab of hot glue on there. What I do is I fold this in like that. And I just put a little bit of glue in. I'm just going to add some hot glue here. Like that. And that will hold the whole assembly together. Got a little of glue on there. There we go. So it's nice and compact and ready to be used. So let's just turn this on, make sure it works. There we go. And you can adjust this bevel right here to focus once you have it on your CNC. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just look at my file, my VCAR file. That's going to cut out a project I'm working on and just show you how I set up a tool path for this to go around and make sure it's not going to hit any of the clamps or nails or whatever you have holding your workpiece down. So let's take a look at that. Here's the design for my house address that I'm making. It's going to be a surfboard on the front of our house. It will have 2099 on it and it'll all light up in, in the evening, but that's all information for a later date. What I want to do right now is since I'm putting this whole stock on a diagonal uh, orientation, and the reason I'm doing that is to maximize the how, la how la large of a item I can put on my CNC, that I want to make sure that none of the clamps that hold the stock down are going to be in the way of the end mill when it goes around and cuts this out. Now my cutting surface for the CNC, this is the Onefinity CNC. For, for me, it's the um, Woodworker original. It has a max of 816 by 816. So I put that in here to get the white area. And just for fun, I just put in how thick my stock is, 22, but that doesn't matter for the laser. So let's take a look at the tool path that I created. I just have one right here called Surfboard Laser Path. And that's what it looks like. So this little line here with the arrows, that's the path that the laser is going to take. And it's offset from the outline of the surfboard here by a little bit. And I'll show you why. So let's take a look at my tool path. I said I would like it to not, the z-axis, the end mill or the laser not to move up and down at all. So it's just at zero. And I just chose a random end mill, like a quarter inch end mill, just uh, to put something in there. But that's actually going, going to be my laser that's in the chuck of the Makita rotor. And I changed the speed of it. Now, normally you don't want to go 900 inches per minute with a quarter inch end mill. But for the laser, that's going to be totally fine. Now, I said I want this path here to be on the outside of the outline of the surfboard and then an extra 6.35 millimeters away. So this is basically the distance from here to here is another uh, quarter inch and it's going to follow this path all the way around and that way I can put my clamps anywhere outside of here, make sure that uh, the end mill once it's in will not hit uh, any of the clamps. So let's uh, calculate that. And now you can see uh, there it is. That's what the laser should be showing when we put this on our CNC. So let's go over to the CNC now, put the stock down in generally that area and plug in our laser and see if this all works correctly. The other thing I would like to mention is for our stock, we're going to set the datum the center of the stock to be in the center right here rather than in the front left corner. So that's what I selected there. You can see there's a little dot right here. That's a little square. That's going to be the center. When we go up to the CNC, I'm going to have a little piece of green tape there and set the zero zero for the CNC to that position. Okay, welcome to my CNC. This is the Onefinity Woodworker original and I've got a Makita router in here. I put my stock on diagonally 
uh, like I said I was going to do. And here's my display up here showing you that everything looks okay because it's zeroed up in the top left hand corner. Unfortunately what we want is we want to zero everything to the center which is where that little piece of green tape is. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move that over. Move the whole uh, threader over. I put my laser guide in here. I'm just going to turn it on and line it up with that little dot that I have on the green tape. There, now I want to tell the CNC that this is now going to be zero position. So what I'm going to do is just say X, set that as zero. Y, set that as zero. And now we are ready to go making sure that everything will stay on the board. Well, that's the Maker Down laser guide. It's been really useful for me. So if you think it'll be useful for you, print this part off, order the parts, let me know how it goes. Until then, God bless you, and we'll see you real soon.